Oh, it's one of these animation channels. Ew! No wonder! Like, these videos are quite literally just sound of- Oh my god! Am I saying that bullshit? All right, content farms need to be stopped by Word Eye. Let's see, let's see how this video is. I'm going to guess he's going to be talking about um, current stuff versus old stuff and um, stuff like Digital Circus and probably Elsa Gate. Let's, let's see if I'm right. Let's see if my guesses are right. Content farms. There is so much content nowadays that just needs to be left in the drafts. Recently, Facts. there's been That's a lot of people posts. talking about content on farms on YouTube. And now I haven't been aware of this new incoming plague of content farms until like February or March. Like I knew of their existence, but I just didn't really. I know feel like content bad. farms are always going to be a thing. Like let's let like let's be honest. It's oh it's always going to be a thing. And Elsa Gate is kind of where yep, all Elsa Gate. started. So basically, what it was is people started using children's characters and like marketing it towards children and they were making very inappropriate content and i'm glad i was too old for elsa gate because i definitely would have fucking watched it you know knowing me loki loki honestly i don't re really remember watching like any like elsa gate type of videos when i was younger so I, I i probably like one of those people who actually haven't like grown up watching like you know elsa gate type of videos but oh my god seeing so many of these this is the reason why youtube literally had it a change like literally am i dumbass tendencies as a kid i 100 percent would have watched it and thank god i didn't because i would have turned out a lot worse you know I honestly i probably i actually probably have seen us again i just don't remember remember started because but. of youtube kids now youtube kids was created february 15th 2015 and obviously people wanted to take advantage of this kids because for some reason animation youtube automatically makes animation as kids for some reason like whether if they're actually for kids or adults any type of animation video they'll sometimes market it as for kids and on the surface it looked very like it's mainly a bot it's never a human it's like very weird for some reason ipad and letting them watch whatever the hell they want like they have to actually know what they're watching thankfully i do this with my sisters like i make sure they're actually watching at least appropriate for good stuff like yeah there's gonna be some brain watch shit they're gonna see but like this weird or disturbing content hasn't really made a wave on YouTube yet, but there were still like animations of like popular characters and like YouTube poop shit that I would fucking watch. I most definitely was subject to brain. I think YouTube poop is like, in my opinion, it's totally different. Like YouTube poop is actually supposed to be funny. I, I don't think and at this point in time like the guidelines weren't as strict yet so i could have very well have seen content like this on my home page now i think about it maybe i have seen some weird ass shit and i probably just don't remember it but kids would click on one video and then get led to the next one the and next one next one autoplay suggested system so they would just see even more of these videos and the parents would have no idea what they were watching and how much of that shit they actually watched this stuff was promoted all over YouTube kids because you I, I feel like most like social media platforms still do this to this very day like you watch one video then it goes on to the next or probably puts in your for you page or probably like oh you like the video all right they're gonna start recommending it more you probably follow a guy and then, like I, i'm very positive it's not just youtube it's literally every single like social media platform like youtube tiktok and like instagram and all that youtube thought well it looks fairly innocent so they would just put it on the app like just right on the home page and if it yeah. happens to stumble upon this type of content that shit could do some damage like it would scar that got to the point where youtube got sued by the ftc and the whole coppa act ftc coppa like delete their channel everyone was like getting fucked a little bit not gonna lie because they were showing content on the youtube kids app that was not meant for kids and at this point in time every creator thought they were cooked but eventually youtube came out with this thing where you mark your content let's be honest this really hasn't been doing much okay, like probably helps for the people that are honest like it somewhat helps but like correctly but people are still gonna take advantage of this and if these kids really want because it the, the the way it works is not perfect the way it works is not perfect in my opinion parents account or something like the amount of 
of incoherent sentences I see in the comments on YouTube is actually wild. And as the years went on, 2020 to present day, content farms have really only gotten worse, honestly. Yeah. But nowadays, popular characters in content farms include Pomni from Pom Digital, Digital Circus. Digital Circus. Digital Circus is lit. Giga Gaga Doe Nuggets. The fuck is this? What do you call those? Huggy Wuggy. I don't know this. The yeah. From Skibbity Toilet. Sk Even Skibbity Toilet is like the, the biggest. And it's yeah, either Skibbity Toilet or um Digital Circus. Like, like for some reason, innocent. those are like for the main two. Design Pro. And what this content is, I mean, it's it's pretty much just mind numbing and uses popular characters to get kids to click on it. I really don't want to subject How? you to this brain rot, but I'm sorry, I have to play it just to show you. Oh, it's one of these animation channels. Ew! No wonder. Like these videos are quite literally just sound of. Oh my god! Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Effects, nothing else. Like I feel like my brain. Like it, that was barely animation. It was just movement and then like like Johnny Test type of sound effects. Maybe I just need to give it another chance. I'm. I think I'm just a hater. I'm hating on Max Design Pro. Let's just give it another chance. This motherfucker put four videos on screen. How much stimulation does one little Timmy need? Look, like, yeah, I've seen the whole subway. We know attention time. spans are getting it's low, but four videos at once. Are like, we sure they're getting, getting this what low? Are they even focus on what are they looking? Like low key the videos with one video playing. Maybe they're uh, not so bad after all. Four videos. I mean, shit. I've never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. My attention span is already bad as it is. Like I literally have like a two second attention span with these kids that are like watching these shorts all day i don't know they probably have less than yeah this can't be me low-key Th this can't be me like i i'm just gonna have to start putting four screens at once just so bruh please but i love a guy please don't do that similar to this oh my god linky box and now this isn't a yo content farm, bro. This is like they content, content farm the holy shit out of roblox and digital circus and I mean, they um, Huggy, videos. Huggy Wuggy, Huggy Wuggy, but like, they, they content farm the holy shit out of both. YouTubers like to keep their backlog up and make sure, like, people are returning to old content, but I don't think anybody in the world has time to watch 11,000 videos. If you were a like, I don't. on an iPad kid and say, watch Lanky Box until you're done watching their entire catalog, they're gonna be a grown-ass man by time they're There's done. no way, they're no way you're gonna do that unless Unless you okay. put it in like what that are popular like x2 speed sound effects goofy ass music you get the point but i'd argue their long form content is just as bad like as soon as i click on this because it's just bombarded with screaming extremely fast paced editing. okay so that intro is like, well, like this like but after video. it's barely edited actually low-key low-key edits in one video because it it's like all right they make sure it keeps your attention but once you continue watching that they literally have products in it's barely edited. Walmart. Like the only YouTube like, channel that I know that has gone that mainstream is like Ryan's Ryan's Toy Review, Review and then like Pokemon and then you could probably count Mr. Beast, but another form of content that I've been seeing lately are these marble races my biggest concern wait hold up hold up so many hold lists. up like this Ch chill on these chill on these hold up actually hold up where do you chill on these for for real i don't know if i'm like the only one but like marble races where it's like the ai voices singing a certain song or just ai videos in general loki loki i gotta enjoy it like like i don't enjoy a lot of like ai like you know type of content but sometimes when it comes to ai cartoon characters like just singing a singing a song and then like they're doing some type of race and whether it's like this gta or they're doing like something like guitar band or something like that not gonna hold you for some reason i i really enjoy it like no no cap i really enjoy it one for example they so like marceline loki 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 sing perfect by ed sheeran in like these AI you should let these cook loki especially when they just say the n-word randomly like there's a bunch of like cool they boy, make, give like, them word. a month on tiktok like is this what they're doing bro is that what's happening they got multiple content farm marble race accounts 
because there's so many of these. Jews World versus Stewie. Who the fuck is watching this? This is the most random combination I have ever seen. Am I just being a hater on these marble races? I don't know. I mean, maybe if I was like, like look, 10 or like 12. Loki, they're actually in her. I'm way too. Loki, they're sometimes interesting. Loki, Loki. Like, I don't, I don't like binge watch these, but like, you know, whenever it just comes on my For You page, I actually watch it. Like, rappers are being put in brain rot now, these fucking marble races, and they're also being put in like these Minecraft animations. Like, if I were to explain this to somebody Minecraft. that's not really in tune with the internet like that, they'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, are you on crap? God damn. This is a real thing. Shaking. Like, I'm not even trolling. You'll see for yourself. I'm just going to play the video. What is that? What is that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we got the chicken nugget. We gotta, and then we got Nick. What? Hype with these chicken nuggets. Like, can someone please tell me? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just behind. Loki, Loki, I actually don't understand it either. Loki, I understand Nick Avocado. I, I never understood the chicken nuggets. Like, how the hell? Pomni pregnant in real life. Like, at this point, I'm not surprised that the creator of Digital Circus had to address this. I mean, like, imagine if this was your job. I don't even, I'm not even shocked Glitch Productions, like, had to acknowledge it one time, because, because what in the Eli So Cree is this title? Like, low-key. Fat TV? Fat TV? series where, where they become skibbity toilet, and they just make noises for the entire video. These are grown-ass people, by the way. Nigga! The like to dislike ratio. No wonder. Yeah, this was not no wonder. No, well, who, who would actually watch this either? Like Loki, Loki, Loki. Holy shit! Are we gonna devolve as humans to the point where content is just gonna become noises? I mean, this video was pretty much 16 minutes of just noises. 1930. We will have a time travel machine in. Skippity skippity. <laughs> skibbity skibbity. Now, thanks to me making uh, it, you know, I should have went on like an incognito account or some shit. Now, my recommend is just going to be littered with a bunch of fucking slop content. That might be, honestly. That Skibbity Toilet has a good story. Now, I really don't know how true it is. Now, low key. I don't know. They just keep saying Skibbity over and over again. Skibbity oh, Toilet has like a good, has like a good storyline, right? In all honesty, you're just very it's more of the fan base, if that makes any sense. Like the actual storyline or like the stories, like the interesting stories they do with all like the shooting, all that. It's somewhat interesting, but it's more of like the kids and the storyline that's like the fan base that just makes it annoying. Like low key, low key. I, I would be very honest dollars right there the poor cameraman that had to sit there and record this shit all day but trust me it only gets worse content farms just keep going bro there are these content creators out there if you even want to call them oh uh, is it the green make videos where they just literally make explicit content and i guess what they try to do is like beat around the bush so these kids don't really know fully oh this other type of take down their video but this shit this is like another form of like elsa gate where they would take kid characters like let's say like he just showed like peppa pig or it's probably i don't know like spongebob spider-man also or sometimes it's probably like minions and then they would do something sexual or like something like in a, like very inappropriate like i don't know like have sex or someone being like pregnant or something like that and then like the kids will watch it because like they not gonna like understand it but like growing up you're gonna understand it more and he's like why the fuck are we letting uh, letting our kids watch these like like loki why are we letting our kids watch these it is so fucked up like you have to be one deranged individual to make this type of content some of the stuff in the videos are so bad i can't even show it in this video like i really don't know how this shit hasn't I, I don't even blame you loki i honestly don't blame you content to exist on the platform like if i put a gif with like cartoon violence in it that could get me age restricted but these people can pretty much just lurk the platform scot-free which is crazy and although that a lot of that's the reason why youtube needs like more like human reviewers and not use the bots like i understand sometimes having both like kind of helps review stuff faster but it's like the bots are not really perfect so it's like it's weird as hell so i really don't want to play the video i'm pretty sure just seeing the video will get me put on some kind of list like that's how disgusting this content is this content pretty much just belongs on another website
website, and the titles alone already make it sound like they belong. Oh, so I don't want to see. plays with, like, I can't even bring myself yeah, to read it. It's so bad. This is a pussy? This content is everywhere. Yo! Online. It's been everywhere for a long time. Not with just, like, Digital Circus. Characters from FNAF, bunch of animes, even goddamn Among, Among Us. And this content like, we all saw, like, that one ad of Among Us, and then like some girl having these sheiks, and then it's an ad. Like, we all, we all seen that before. Let's be honest. We all seen that before. Adults. And like I said earlier in the video, the creator of Digital Circus responded, and it was specifically to this. That's why I didn't really talk about it that much. But basically, what she said was, you guys keep sending me the worst content farm slot imaginable i like genuine fan content by the way it's just getting really hard to find in the endless okay that's soulless trash and i mean that describes it just perfectly i mean yeah trash. and also but glitch productions actually did show a clip of it is he actually gonna show it or no making i mean uh, okay, i guess he's really not gonna like show that all right editing can be like kind of tiring sometimes but at least when the video's all set and done i can sit down and watch my own videos and i'm doing something that doesn't make me want to go homeless instead like it's not gonna just drive me insane i feel like this is what making this type of content would do to an individual i would feel like a sick dis uh, the video just sent it there um i guess we get no intro for this so as that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video all right not gonna hold you everything in this video from word i i, I like honestly agree with like low-key like i honestly agree with like content farm from the beginning to now it has somehow continued to get worse and worse like low-key if i had to say like the time it peaked i would probably say like like 2017 2018 like i would probably say that's like when like elsa gate like peak because now it's like you know it's only it, you only get elsa gate content if you like like search like it massly and i mean massly deep but yeah that was the video hope you guys enjoyed the video tell me what is the worst like you know also gay like video you ever saw before or like what or like what was like the, your very first time seeing like an Elsa gay type of video if i would probably have to say it i would probably say like 2017 where i was randomly watching a youtuber i don't remember his name but he was talking about it and i was just like thank the lord i never seen it when i was growing up but yeah that was the video hope you enjoyed the video that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Oops.